When the European Court of Human Rights delivers a judgment finding a violation of the European Convention on Human Rights, the state concerned, that's to say the respondent state in the proceedings before the court, is obliged to comply with that judgment as soon as it becomes final, to execute it. In order to supervise the respondent state's compliance with this obligation, the final judgment is transmitted to the Committee of Ministers, which consists of representatives of all member states of the Council of Europe. This supervision by the Committee is representative of the collective responsibility of all member states for due compliance with the Court's judgments. What is expected of the respondent state? A straightforward measure as regards the applicant is the payment by the state of the sum of money which the Court awarded as just satisfaction. This sum is intended to cover moral or material damage suffered and costs and expenses incurred by the applicant. However, the authorities of the respondent state are often called upon to take other measures in the interest of the applicant, so that the consequences of the violations suffered are erased as far as possible. This might include reopening unfair court proceedings, repealing the conviction of a journalist who has been wrongfully accused of defamation, or re-establishing contact between a parent and child who have been unjustly separated. The authorities should also ensure that other people do not suffer similar violations. They should therefore adopt general measures to prevent that situation from arising in future. It may, for example, be necessary to amend the legislation in force or the practice of courts, or it may be necessary to improve conditions of detention. The respondent state communicates the measures envisaged to the Committee of Ministers in the form of action plans. When the state considers that it has taken all the necessary measures, it sends the committee an action report. If, after examining it, the committee accepts the action report, the case is closed by the adoption of a final resolution. During the supervision process, applicants can inform the committee of any problems that they encounter in obtaining the reparation due to them. What's more, civil society, as represented by NGOs and national institutions that promote and protect human rights, can also intervene and may communicate with the committee concerning the execution of a particular judgment. The Committee of Ministers dedicates four meetings every year to performing its supervisory function. If necessary, it can also examine a case at one of its other meetings. If any problems are encountered with the execution of a judgment, the Committee has a wide range of measures at its disposal to assist the State in overcoming those problems. What about friendly settlements and unilateral declarations? The Committee also ensures that friendly settlements are respected. It does not, however, supervise the implementation of unilateral declarations, for which responsibility lies with the Court itself. More information on execution and its supervision by the Committee of Ministers is available on the Committee's website and also that of the Department for the Execution of the Judgments of the European Court of Human Rights, which assists the Committee in carrying out its supervisory role.